We're going to do our Catoosa County Patriotic Citizen of the Year first. And Yvonne will read that. Okay. I'm honored and excited about our patriotic citizen. Now, like I said, we got a lot of nice citizens, great citizens in Catoosa County. But patriotic. This person is a longtime resident of Catoosa County. He is a graduate of Georgia State University. He's a former NBC and CBS actor, co-starred in 16 films for Hallmark. He is the author of nine books and the Appalachian storyteller. What about all these flags? And he wrote this piece in honor of veterans. He is the chairman of the Ringo Downtown Development. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal honored him in 2013 for a generous goodwill and caring efforts benefiting the people of Georgia and helping raise millions. Twice a year he volunteers raising flags to honor the deceased veterans, which we all are familiar with those flags. He states that he is moved each time he sees a display thing. Thankful to all the volunteers who make this happen for the flag display. He hosts the 1890 days readings of the names of the heroes that have flags. He spearheaded the day, the updating of the Catoosa County War Medical Memorial and Ringo Veterans Concert in Ringo. He helped form and serve as volunteer board member for the Catoosa Legal Local Emergency Planning Committee. He served on the ch mem a member of the Catoosa County Chamber of Commerce. He was an Eagle Scout at the age of 13 and list goes on and on with countless things <coughs> that this person support and <coughs> committed to. His public spirit moves his devotion to Catoosa County. He is a Ringo Councilman and is a member of the Boynton Lions Club and a member of Ringo Methodist Church. Honor and support me in honor today. Randall Franks. <laughs> Ago, and was very blessed that people all across the country were moved by the story. I thank you so much for this this honor. And uh, you know, I've been blessed many years ago. Mayor Joe Barter included me uh, as a volunteer to be part of the flag uh, effort in Ringo. Now, through the years, I've transitioned from physically putting up the flags to now I work with Sharon and Pete and getting information about how people can volunteer and be a part of that uh, and, and promoting the, uh, the effort, uh, but it's still very near and dear to my heart. 
and it, as I said, you said, it moves me every time I see the flags. Uh, when you talk about being a patriot, uh, the gentlemen in this audience who are veterans, those are our patriots. I've, I've been blessed that there were many of my family. I've never had the honor of serving as a veteran, but I think back to those who gathered together over 200 years ago and decided that they needed to put a stop to what was going on in this great land as they were oppressed by evil and the ruler of England. I was honored that many of my ancestors were among those that stood up. That's one of the reasons it means so much to me, not only those men, but all throughout my family. In every conflict, I've been blessed to know and hear their stories and thankfully carried them on with me to pass along. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.